Trina, in my opinion, needs to quit rap. And I'm going to explain why. But first, let me preface this, okay? I was watching Love and Hip Hop Miami Season 2, Episode 4. The episode was titled Nada, Nada, and Panada. And it aired Wednesday, January 23rd of 2019. Trina sat down with her, her team. And she was explaining to them that, you know, if her album doesn't come out, she's done with the label. Like, she feels like as if they're just going to release her from the label. Because, you know, she's been promising people this album for three years and fans pre-ordered the album like two years ago and it still didn't come out yet. So she's very frustrated and it's really interesting because she called or somebody called her assistant into the room, Alvin, not Alvin, Simon and Theodore, not Alvin and the Chipmunks, but Alvin. Now, Alvin, who happens to look like a chipmunk. Ironically, he, he actually really does look like a chipmunk. He is not doing the things that an assistant is supposed to do. He's uh, fighting with Trina's cousin, Bobby Lights, who's a, a good rapper and whatnot. You know, he's just doing a lot of different things that he shouldn't be doing instead of, you know, handling business with her. Also, he went behind her back and started working on some business deals or a business deal with Trina's business partner and that really ticked Trina off. I think that was the straw that broke the camel's back, <laughs> the straw that broke Jay-Z's back. <laughs> and it was hilarious because, you know, Trina was like, you need an assistant. You know, in other words, it's like he's just doing so much. And he was like, I'm working on that. <laughs> he very calmly said that to me. That was freaking hilarious. It was so funny also because what Trina said to him was basically look like, dude, Nobody knows you. Nobody cares about you. You know, nobody cares about you or rather nobody cares about you doing this business deal with this woman. <laughs> Talk about a dream killer. And it's funny because her dream or her career as a rapper is on life support. And the only reason why people care about her music is because she's on love and hip hop. And this is not a diss. This is just tough love. I like some of Trina's music from back in the day, you know, like pull up that a is too fat. I like that joint that you don't know Nan <laughs> with Trick Daddy, you know. I like some of her songs. I like some of her verses in her career. Early on in her career, that is. Come on now. This is the same chick that made that song. How does it go? Something like long hair, red bottoms. Long hair, red bottoms. Step, step, step. Come on now. Remember that garbage from 2011? And once again, this is not to be mean because I love Trina, but Trina hasn't put a, she has not made, or at least not released a hot song in years. Somebody please tell me the year and the title, unless you just don't know the year. But if you know the title, let me know in the comment section. The last good song that Trina came out with, it was probably in like 1999 or 2000. When did that song come out? Be all right with Ludacris. That may have been the last one. Anyways, let me know below if you can figure that mystery out. Like when the last time, when, like what was the last song that she made that was hot, that was actually good. So it's really interesting because Trina is looking like a damn unicorn with this very colorful hair and this and this hilarious scene. And then Alvin and the Chipmunks is wearing a red glitter ball jacket that just looks absolutely ridiculous i mean he looks like a present on christmas you wouldn't want to open and and and, 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 and you know i and i'm not trying to sound like i'm saying anything negative about gay people but but this dude is obviously very fruity and his hairdo his hairdo is terrible i thought that uh, the homosexual community was on fleek I mean, he has like a, a 70s style beard to where it's kind of like those, what do they call it, pork chop sideburns, like the way his sideburns connect to his beard. And then it's like a little bit like a, a, a Chinese dude from a Kung Fu flick, the way his beard is sticking out at his chin. And then it's like straight up slave on the top of his head. Like he looks like 12 years of slave on top of his head. Then you get to his sideburns, it goes into shaft. Damn right. And then... When it gets down to his chin, it looks like he's about to start doing kung fu and frying your chicken wings real hard. 
that's a Chinese restaurant chicken wing reference for those that know how bomb Chinese chicken wings are phenomenal so anyways like it's confusing because I'm looking at this dude and I'm like his style sucks Trina style sucks not all of the time but this weird like purple and blue hair that this heifer's wearing I'm just like just looking at it like damn Trina looks and I mean not purple excuse me pink and purple with some damn uh, purple and pink eye I think it's, I think it's eyeshadow I think that's what that stuff is called it, it, it she just looks ridiculous and once again I love Trina but I gotta call a spade a spade you see those people around her in my opinion can't care too much about her because if they did they would tell her how ridiculous that she looks they would just hold a mirror up to her and be like Trina and she should get the picture but anyway, so I'm watching the scene. I'm admiring the hell out of Trina's six pack neck. Like, you know how like on a six pack, it's like the different parts of the abdominals are separated. Like her neck is like separated and segregated. It's like Trina's neck has more rolls than a stadium. And I'm just looking at this wrinkled, crinkled French fry neck of hers. And she's just a talking, talking, talking. Actually, she's yelling at Alvin and Chipmunks, which I'm pretty sure kids called him that when he was growing up. And that's wrong. You should have never called him that. You should have called him just for me. I mean, with that, anyways. I, now, normally, I don't recommend that Negroes go and get perms and relaxers and things, but he needs to do something to it. Now, he needs to get the young jock going because it, 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 <laughs> between the style, the texture, and all of it, I mean, he, he looked like he slapped that hair on his head and didn't grow it. Like, the, it, his hair looks ridiculous. I know people are not their hair. Shout out to Indy Irene, who's an awesome musician. But this Negro looks ridiculous. He seriously looks like an extra in a slave movie. I kid you not. I'm not joking. He looks like a pick a no-no. Not, not a pick a ninny, but a pick a no-no. Like, nobody's going to pick him. Nah, this, the, <laughs> this Negro looks ridiculous. But the most ridiculous thing about the scene was when Trina well pretty much all the scene but Trina yelling at Alvin and then the fact that when she was done yelling or the last thing that she yelled was you're fired and told him to get up out of the studio and I'm thinking like Trina are you taking your frustrations out on him because you're a 40 something year old female rapper who hasn't made a song that was good in 20 years or so and and in, in all honesty, who's really checking for Trina's music? And like he said before he walked out, he kept his composure very, very well while she was looking like a nut. But we all know, actually, you know, I take that back because sisters never look crazy or bad. Okay? They just look like the sisters. You know, that sister attitude that we, that, <laughs> anyways. I, I don't put up with it. I know that. But so she kicks him out the studio yelling like a lunatic. And he says, I'll see you at the top or see you at the top. Something like that. And I'm thinking to myself, as he's saying this, like, dang, he's going to surpass her. I mean, look at her attitude. And I'm like, damn, is she jealous of this dude? Now, I don't know whether or not he makes any music, but I can predict <laughs> this. I bet his singing and his rapping skills are like his skills in the bedroom. He sucks. So this is the thing, right? Long story short, Trina, when's the last time you had a good record, baby? How are you going to yell at this dude like that when we don't have anything in 20 years that's noteworthy? That's worthy <laughs> of a review or a discussion and one more time I love Trina trust me I've busted out the lotion so many times for Trina I don't even remember how many times okay her music videos I had a Trina poster on my wall back in the day so I'm not gonna sit up here and you know and try to act like like I'm not a Trina fan if you know what I mean I'm a fan of her older music, and I'm a fan of that rapping hand movement that I've been doing for years to her, okay? So I don't want y'all to get it twisted, all right? I loves me some Trina, but she was very annoying on this episode, but that's just my opinion. 
Not just because I think that she needs to become a full-time reality star and leave the rap stuff alone doesn't mean you feel the same way. But you got to know when to quit. And she, if she does quit, she'll definitely not be quitting while she's still on top. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Just because I think that Trina needs to call it quits, hang it up, say it's a wrap, and do TV, maybe some fashion and movies, doesn't mean that you feel the same way. You know, Chris Stokes is hiring. You know, your man Chris Stokes be putting all types of heifers in movies, and they be hot chicks too. Some sexy heifers, you know? So, I'm pretty sure that Chris Stokes will put her in some movies. But anyways... This is all my opinion. What's yours? Let me know what you think about it all below. Meat Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. Let me know what you think about my cutie pie, Trina. Share this video on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, two cans with the string in the middle, and telepathically. That way everybody in their mama too knows that Trina, in my personal opinion, really needs to call it quits as a rapper and needs to do something else like acting and and staying on reality tv which is technically acting anyway right anyways y'all what do you guys think am i right about this am i wrong am i somewhere in the middle what am i right about what am i wrong about thumbs up comment subscribe click the notification button Meat Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Meat Magazine on MeWe. Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Meat Magazine site dot blogspot dot com. I need everybody to post a comment below. If you're listening to this, <laughs> if you're listening this far into the video, about 12 minutes in, you can leave a comment. Okay? Don't be shy. Y'all don't be shy when the strange men come to your bedroom in the middle of the night. So don't be faking like you're shy now. Okay? I don't care if you're from Chirac. I don't care if your favorite rapper Shine. I don't care if you shine shoes for a living. I don't care if you have a shiner on your eye right now. I don't care if your favorite movie is The Shining. You need to leave a comment below, okay? It's very important. I need everybody's opinion on the matter. Do you see things the way I see it or no? And if you have a differing opinion, that's fine. I mean, you're wrong, but that's fine. I think she needs to quit. And for the record, if you're wondering who my favorite female rapper of all time is, Little Kim. My favorite female rapper in the music industry currently, Mariah Lynn.